Should I bring it closer? No, it's cool. It's the okay. perfect distance. Perfect distance. You can't see my spots and stuff. It's great. <laughs> you can't see my acne can't scars. See oh, it's beautiful. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Abe's Man. Hello, everyone. You guys have been asking for this video, so here he is on my I'm channel, here, girl. and we're going to be doing a last-minute revision tips. And don't panic, I know I'm saying last minute and I know we've still got five weeks, but mm -hmm. to be fair, like with eight levels, five five weeks is last minute. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna be going through some tips that you can do now because let's be real, you're not gonna have time to go through everything, everything. You're not. You're by not. the time that this goes up. So we're gonna give you some tips to like make the most out of the time you've got left. And um, if you work hard, there's no reason why you can't get good grades, really. So you can start though, because I can. Okay, so okay, you so start. I will start. So hi guys, I'm Ibs by the way. She didn't really introduce. Sorry. It's time, we're running out of time. <laughs> um, so, my name is Ibs, and I also have a student channel. Do you want me to promote myself? Do you don't want me to? Promote yourself. So, I also have a channel where I always talk about, I also talk about revision videos. And my main advice, so number one, number one tip for last minute revision mm -hmm. is to block all distractions. We spoke about this very briefly already, but I would say, your phone, this is Satan. This <laughs> is the devil. Get it out. It's, it's bye. <laughs> I was watching that. I Just hope it didn't smash on the floor. Email bulb insurance. <laughs> so my advice to you is to delete that and remove that from your life. You can get like a burner phone, like a trap phone, the £10 ones from, I don't know, Amazon, Carfell, whatever. Asda. They do, they do phones in Asda. Do a lie. Yes, they have a little phone section in mine. I love Asda. So you can go to Asda, <laughs> boy, you can go there. Or I would also just say, make sure you put it away and you don't want notifications there because they will distract you. So I would say, when you go to the when you go to the library, when you do study, put your phone away. Away. Put it, give it to your mum, like you away. said. Put it under your bed. Because even the energy, China, even whatever. the energy of finding your phone, you're going to be like, I can't bother to use it. Yeah. There's no point. What I do is, is I put my phone in my room, I go to the library, and I tell my family or any friends in emergency, contact me on WhatsApp, because you can have that on your laptop. Yeah. Then on my laptop, I have the app called Self Control, and I block everything, everything. except for WhatsApp, and I just have WhatsApp, that's it. Mm -hmm. And also, with some, when, when you block a website, yeah. the energy is you blocking, blocking it. it. Taking the effort to actually say, Block. Block. Bye bye. That's the part yeah. you need. That's revision tip number one last minute. Go, Eve. Okay. My number one revision tip, right, is if you have not got a lot of time left, you need to plan that time so plan well. It. Plan Min it. Right. You need to get your spec and you need to think, right, okay, I've got five weeks. So if I do one chapter every two days, that yeah. will get me yeah. done. You need to make sure that you've gone over it. Um, and if your spec's like history or something and it's just so much information, you need to like think, okay what like what are the big things here start with that and then you can work out if you've got time mm -hmm. cover the big topics for like for english lit my teacher always says if you're really panicking open your book like start with one passage and then you can work out if you've got time cover the big ideas before you start going through every single thing in meticulous really detail because let's be real with with this long to go it's going to be a bit of a squeeze to cover it's be a everything. Squeeze. If you've already learnt it and you're just going over it, it won't be. But if you're literally learning it for the first time because you haven't paid attention in lessons or something, you're going to just have to get, like, grasp the big concepts yeah. as well. And I'm to saying. help with that, you can also buy, like, I'm sorry, textbooks, they need to skirt skirt now and you need to buy the actual revision, revision guide because they simplify, they condense a lot of things for you and even if you're going through like the original textbook, yeah. like you said, look at the content page and look at the headers yeah. and even now with my degree at Cambridge, when I look at like text, I look at like the keywords, what is bold, what bold, is highlighted, yeah. what is bold and I just write it down in a PowerPoint or I put it in like a brainstorm and just simplify everything. Yeah, you're not going to be able to go in depth nope. but this is last minute revision boo boo yeah. so bye bye, we'll go Prioritize. through Prioritise, that's my first tip. Oh, my second Second tip, my second tip is brainstorming and plans and having this. So, if you go to the library and you bring in your A3 paper and you're like, where do I put it? I made this beautiful plan, I need to fold it up and obviously you fold it and then you ruin it and then you yeah, crazy. Yeah, and then you crap, yeah. And then you throw it in the bin because yeah. you're so crazy. Mm -hmm. You get this massive thing. This is from Ryman's, but you can buy cheap ones as well. I don't know where. I'm hoping you know. Where can you get them cheap? Amazon, you can probably go buy them, you know what I mean? So yeah, so yeah, somewhere. But anyways, having something like this where you put all your revision for the day and you go to the library, yeah, it's like it. a little sort of mini bag that's not a bag. Mm -hmm. And just have everything in here. And idea. also having stationary, like, have everything. Uh-huh. Don't go to the library and think, oh crap, this has happened to me so many times. You have to come all the way back, yeah. I've forgotten my highlighter. I've forgotten, I've forgotten my pen. I've forgotten my pen. Pen? I've forgotten paper. <laughs> I've forgotten the pen. book. I've forgotten my brain. That happens, you know. So make sure when you, before your library, you have everything collected, everything there, and then you go and everything's organised and fine. Yeah, that's a really good tip, actually. Your second revision tip. My second revision tip is, at this point, you're not going to be able to do every past paper. You're not going to be able to, like, do every question. 
exact like if you are lucky enough but blessed enough to be on a spec with lots of past papers and like mm -hmm. a long examination history look for the trends in the questions and play to the trends if you know that certain things come up year after year after year you're going to need to know those things so like for example chemistry gcse like ionic compounds came up every single year so you're going to need to revise well that. i don't know what that is but that sounds, yeah. that sounds interesting like i don't, I don't know for politics right this like for the last five years the 25 mark has been on judges so pretty sure it's going to be not on judges this year like just play to your strengths and examiner's reports as well like yeah. because if you literally read what the examiner wants you to do you haven't got time now to know everything perfectly mm -hmm. so you need to you need to focus on your exam technique more than your knowledge at this point really yes, yes. because like oh 100 yeah, yeah exam 100%. Technique. so just prioritize notice the trends read the examiner's reports and get a feel for what you need to put more effort into than other things as well. know the mark schemes make sure you understand Up them heart. internalize them Up you know heart. everything about that you know everything about them be calm the examiner yes so another revision tip is when you do so another revision tip is get those now it's time to focus on exam exam skills and yeah. how you perform in the exam content Okay, hopefully you will know a lot, but bye. That is something for you to decide. <laughs> it's gone now. Get the examiner's reports, get the mark schemes, and just be able to find out, like you said, like, what does the examiner want? Yeah. Sort of just... Okay, so, I've got it. So get exemplar answers, yeah. exemplar essays. Critique. Some, you criticise them, because some are not... Some we had this conversation. Yeah. Some, some are not ASARs, but some are. And look at your work and think, what are they doing that I'm not? Have their work there, highlight what you think is good, and add that to your own work. Yeah. Sort of learn from others. That's a really good way. Learn yeah. from what they want to do. Because you've had your teachers marking your essays all year, but your teachers are not going to be marking your exam. You need to now get into the examiner's head because yes. the teacher might have special niches that they're looking for that perhaps the examiner won't. Exactly. Like, yeah. ex exam essays are totally different to like class essays as well. So you need to start like thinking like the exam. And even like every day, so when you do your mind maps, when you do your revision, when you do your content, every single night you do a pass paper. Pass paper. Every single night. Because yeah. now it's come to the stage where you have to perform well. Mm -hmm. This is your, your mock grades and your exams and pass papers, that predicts that. So every single night do it. And if you get a bad grade, then okay. Move past it. Yeah. Move past it and carry on for the next one. Yeah, definitely. I was going to say for my final tip is just pass papers because... I couldn't, they're just they're just so important but before you all start screaming oh my gosh i'm not i don't have any past papers i want a new stack whatever okay okay then you just I like get that a lot. yeah like okay i feel you only one of my subjects has got past papers but do the old spec past papers right the topics aren't the same but you're still practicing your skills even if you're really that desperate Ask your teacher to make up past paper questions for you. Yes. English, yes. I have none. I have none. So I literally went to my teacher. I was like, make me a list of past paper questions I can do. Find me some extracts, because one of mine's I can unseen extracts. I was like, uh -huh. find me some extracts. Give me the essays, and I will do them, and you mark them according to the mark scheme. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but really be proactive with your revision. And don't sit there wallowing in self-pity, being like, I've got no past papers. Make your own, you know? Make your own. And like, yeah, so that's the best tip. Yeah. Use, like old spec topics yeah. but use new spec mark schemes yeah. and sort of adapt the question for the new spec so if the old spec had an 18 marker but the new spec has a 25 marker just write 25 Why marks not? under it and yeah, then use yeah. the new spec it's fine it's and fine. your teachers yeah your teachers will really help you yeah. my final final tip is to make sure that you understand that revision is important but so is your well-being well -being. And we said this on my channel as well Sometimes there is a thing as too much revision where you need a break. break. Obviously, you want to work hard now, but it's not the end. Like A levels and GCSEs, but there's there's always another chance. There's yeah. always like A levels if not GCSEs, or degree if not A levels, or masters if not degree. So like, just understand that education is important, but so is your well-being. As yeah. long as you, as long as you are comfortable and happy with your grade, that's all that counts. And yeah. I also used to, so I don't mean to go. I also used to tutor last year, and one thing that I always used to say to my students is and this is like for anyone who deals with like pressure who doesn't want to let other people down your teacher will be happy if you are happy i don't care if you've been getting a stars yeah. the whole year but then you end up with a c as long as you are happy i'm happy the fact that you sat the exam yeah well done to you because there are people out there who won't even show up yeah so well done for you and good luck that's all yeah my, my final final tip is okay exams are really close now and um just don't panic. I know it sounds really stupid, but if you panic now and think, shit, I've done shit all, all the year. Boy. I know nothing. Mm -hmm. First off, you won't know nothing. And second of all, 
if you spend time wallowing in your own self-pity and self-stress, you're going to know even less. You need to think, right, okay, the past is in the past, I've got this block of time now, so I'm going to make the best of that block of time, instead of thinking about all the stuff that I could have done before. Just, just live in the moment now, look at your exams, look at where you are now, and think, how am I going to get there with the best that you can do from yeah. now? You can't change what you've done for the rest of the year. You can't change that you've gone and watched 10 seasons of Netflix instead of, you know, like... Right, we're thinking about ourselves now. Do some notes, right? But we all could have done things differently, so just focus Should on Should I would have could I? I don't yeah, have time for that. Bye-bye. Focus bye. on the now. I could have done way more past papers than I already have, but I'm thinking, no, no. I could have gotten three A stars. Yeah. Three stars, so it doesn't really just matter. Just focus on the now and the forward. Don't think at the back. Think yeah, the man. forward. Yeah. What's that quote from Kung Fu Panda? I know which one you mean. The present. The present. We are, we are the worst. Yeah. The present is the gift. Yeah, something like that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfy Panda. You know, we know what we're talking about. Yeah, know, you know, know, you know if you watch Comfy yeah. Panda. Just but be happy with it, have fun happy with, with it. it. There's more life to education. There's more, There's more. to life. <laughs> we are so tired. There was more to life than education. Yeah, seriously. Have fun with it. Just enjoy. Okay, not enjoy, but like, you know, don't don't cry. But yeah, I hope these tips were of some use. Um, Thank you to Ib for coming to on my channel. channel. We're in my room, her channel, but my room. Yeah, I thank you for accommodating this video Girl. and letting me use your camera. Um, if you have any questions for me or anything, just leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Ibs as well. His links will be everywhere if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> but right. you know, I'm just, I don't know how to use these things. I can't, I'm I not very technological adept. Like, what is a thumbnail? I just figured out. I can't, I literally can't. Um, leave some requests for revision videos down below. I'm not going to have an, much time to be uploading like all the time at the moment. But, oh, do you need to rub out? No. I need to remind myself but like you know if I've got time I will and um, yeah I'll see you next time no, I was going to say next yeah. week I'm not, I'm not coming to that bye take care guys <laughs> next week next week